Hi all. In this class, let us learn Nernst equation. How to derive the Nernst equation? What is the use of Nernst equation? Who has given this equation and all? So Nernst derived an equation to establish relationship between electrode potential and concentration of metal ion at a particular temperature. Here is Nernst. Walter Hermann Nernst. Walter Hermann Nernst was a German chemist known for his work in thermodynamics and solid state physics. His formulation of the Nernst equation heat theorem helped pave the way for the third law of thermodynamics for which he won the 1920 Nobel Prize in chemistry. He is also known for developing the Nernst equation in 1887. And now let us go to the equation derivation step by step. Due to the power output from an electrochemical cell, the free energy decreases. That means here, yeah, we already know the meaning of electrochemical cell. When the electrochemical cell starts working, definitely due to the power output, the free energy within it, whatever the available energy will be there in the chemical electrochemical cell or the device, that free energy decreases. Why? Because of the power output. When it starts working, due to the power output, its energy decreases. That's written as minus delta G equals NFE. What is minus here stands for? Minus stands for decrease in the free energy. Delta G is a free energy. Minus means decrease. De decrease in the free energy. So equals N number of electrons. F Faraday constant. E potential of the electrode. So NFE R by changing the convention, I'll give this as delta G equals minus NFE. Delta G equals minus NFE. Now, under the standard conditions of the temperature, pressure, and concentration here, the free energy is given by this equation. The equation is this, delta G naught. Here, naught stands for standard. Whenever we used to write the naught above the letter Z or S or T, that stands for a standard. So, delta G naught equals minus N F E naught standard uh, potential. Let us call this equation as 1. E naught is a stand constant called standard reduction potential. Let us consider equilibrium redox reaction like this. So M n plus plus n number of electrons gives M. This is one of a standard reduction reaction. Let us call this as equation number 2. M n plus that means metal ion accepts the electrons, n number of electrons to give metal. This is a equilibrium redox reaction. For a spontaneous reaction, the change in the free energy depends on the concentration of the reacting species. That is, it is given as Vant of reaction. Vant of reaction delta G equals delta G naught plus RT ln Kc. Where let us call this equation as 3, where Kc is ratio of the concentration of the product to the concentration of the reactant. So Kc is the ratio here. What is that ratio? Concentration of product to the concentration of the reactant. That is a Kc. Now, substitute the value of the Kc in the equation number 3. We get delta G equals delta G naught plus RT ln. That is product concentration to the reactant concentration. Because this is a case in the previous event of reaction equation. So in the place of Kc, we have written this product concentration to the reactant concentration. That is ratio we have written. Now, delta G equals delta G naught plus RT ln M by MN plus. Why is this M here? Why is M, MN plus below here? I'll explain. This is called this as equation number 4. M is a product in the previous equation. And MN plus is a reactant in the previous equation. You can see the equation here. Where is the equation? Equilibrium redox equation. This is here. This is a product, correct? M. M n plus is a reactant. The same thing I am showing here. I'm substituting the product plus M in the reactant plus M n plus. And substitute the value of delta G and delta G naught in the equation number four. We have the value of delta G and also delta G naught. So what is delta G? Minus NFE. What is delta G naught? Minus NFE naught. So let us substitute all the value of delta G and delta G naught in the above equation. And here we will get 
minus NFE equals minus NFE naught plus the same thing. Let us retain the same RT lan mm by mn plus. Under the standard conditions, the concentration of a metal is taken as one, and therefore this equation becomes minus NFE equals minus NFE naught plus RT lan one by mn plus because concentration of metal is one and hence it becomes one by mn plus. Let us call this equation as five. Dividing the equation number five by minus nf, both the side, we have to divide by minus nf. So minus nfe divided by minus nf equals minus nfe naught plus rt lan by one by mn plus, again divided by minus nf. What happens here? Minus nf minus nf gets cancelled out here. Rest of the thing E equals what is there here in E naught minus RT divided by nf lan 1 by mn plus. There's a change in the sign here. Plus becomes minus RT by nf lan 1 by mn plus. Converting lan to log, we get this equation number 6. E equals E naught minus 2.303 RT by nf log 1 by mn plus. How we got? This is by converting land to log, we will get 2.303 RT by nf. And we know that R is the universal gas constant, T is the absolute temperature, and F is a Faraday constant. We have the standard value for all the three terms. Let us substitute all the three values, R, T, and F in the above equation, and we will get this E equals E naught minus 0 0.0591 divided by n log 1 by mn plus R. We can also write this equation as like this, E equals E naught plus 0 0.0591 divided by N log Mn plus. This is our equation number seven, and equation seven is called non stick equation for single electrode potential. This is about the non stick question.